Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I want to share with you the top five hydrating toners and essences that are going to supercharge the moisture levels in your skin, bring back that hydration, calm and soothe everything down, and would make fantastic additions to your own skincare routine. I've scoured the skincare world, trying out so many different products over the past year, and I can say these are truly the best of the best when it comes to toners for hydration and maximum moisture. So sit back, relax, let's start the best hydrating toners. Now, before we jump into this video, just the usual reminder to do all that YouTube stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. It really supports me and the channel because the more likes the video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform, which just means as many people as possible can discover our fabulous Mad About Skin family. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much to each and every one of you that takes the time to like the content that I create here on the channel. Also, I would love to know any personal recommendations you have for hydrating toners and essences because the recommendations you you make really do shape the products that I try and review in the future so just drop those in the comments section below. I've got a lot to say about these products because I feel this is going to be a bit of a fangirl style video so I think I'm going to cut the waffle and just delve straight on in and I want to start with my personal favourite. This is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Rose Essence. So, so good. I'm on bottle like number four of this and it is just one of the most hydrating and yet calming and soothing essences that I've ever tried. In this video, I am using the terms toner and essence interchangeably. I know there are some subtle differences, but here in the West and brands which market towards the West tend to use those interchangeably and I'm all about the results. Who cares about the terminology when we're all about those results and those fantastic benefits we can get from our skin? And this is honestly a holy grail. So the first reason I reached for this is it's supposed to be a like for like dupe for the SK2 facial treatment essence, which is $130, whereas this is 20. Honestly, it is an exact like for like dupe. You get the same outcomes and benefits from a fraction of the price. Also, it looks so luxurious and bougie. This does not look like a $20 product. This looks way more high end and I kind of like that. You get kind of bragging rights when you have something super luxurious on your vanity when you know actually you've not overpaid for it. This is beautiful because not only has it got that Galactomyces ferment, which is fantastic at plumping out and hydrating the skin, but it's also got some rose in here to calm and soothe. It's just packed full of humectants, ferment, and everything you really need to hydrate the skin. It's a little bit on the thicker side than maybe a traditional toner would be, which I personally like. You don't need to apply this with a cotton round. You can just apply it directly with your fingers to cut down on waste and it sinks in like that. Literally, it's disappeared, but it leaves behind a beautiful veil of hydration, a plumpness, a volume to the skin that you didn't have before. And it's not sticky, it's not tacky. Honestly, so, so good. I do know some people, I think this was a hack from James Welsh, where he said he actually uses this or an equivalent toner or essence between each serum step in his skincare routine. I actually tried those out on those days where I'm super, super dry, and I noticed that all my serums sunk in that little bit better. My skin was definitely plumper and hyd more hydrated as a result of that. So yeah, if you love your toners and your essences, that's definitely something you could try. This is a firm, firm favourite and one that I'm going to be buying time and time again. Now, that secret key essence actually gives you a gallon of product for a really affordable price point. If you want to push the boat out a little bit more, go for something a little bit more bougie and high-end but still delivering fantastic results, I would totally recommend this. This is the May Coop Raw Sauce. This I love. Whilst you don't get the whole amount of product that you get with that secret key essence, this is definitely, definitely worth it. So it's 70% birch sap, which is a little bit different to this usual water aqua that we see as the number one ingredient in most of our skincare. It's definitely on the thicker side when you compare and contrast it to some other toners, which again, like I said before, I prefer this. So, so hydrating. Now, there is a key difference between the Secret Key and this one. This one does have some artificial fragrance in it. I personally like that. I think this fragrance is so, so nice. It's really uplifting and invigorating for the morning, but that's not going to suit everyone. So if you've got a sensitive skin type, maybe stick to the Secret Key and give this one a pass. But it goes on. Can you see how that runs down hand? It's almost like a serum. It's that thick, but it's so, so nourishing on the skin. I'd say that fragrance, it kind of smells like a really light sun cream. You know that summery vibes that are super hot here in the UK, so it was exactly the sort of vibe I wanted for my morning skincare routine. It smells divine. It doesn't linger too long, but honestly, it's just a really nice pick-me-up fragrance. Beyond that, the amount of ferments in here, some really nice botanicals, that sap, just leaves behind this really nice hydration and that plump feeling to the skin. This isn't going to be for everyone, but for the packaging alone, I wanted to buy it again. But I just think it's a really nice pick-me-up, yet meaningfully hydrating essence that I would definitely recommend to everyone. Now let's come on to this product. Now, I was in two minds as to whether to include this in this list, because this is the 
The Lab Prebiotic Sera Liquid. Now, it's badged on a lot of websites as being an essence when actually I'd say it's more of a gel-like serum. But you know what? Who cares? The terminology really doesn't matter. It's the outcomes you're going to get and this is phenomenal. So in here, you've got ceramides, you've got some fatty acids in here which work beautifully to spot the barrier function of the skin and hydrate you. You've also got some prebiotics which just help balance the microbiome of the skin. And again, it's a great product just maintaining the skin in tip-top health. It also adds so much hydration back. And if you don't really like the texture of toners and you like to go for something a bit thicker, more gel-like, I think this could be a really good option. So the way that it applies to the skin, if you ever tried the Make Prem Panthenol Essence, which is another favourite of mine, it's kind of got that texture. It blends so, so well. And again, none of these products leave behind a tacky film, which some toners can do. It just disappears into the skin and feels so, so good. This product's on fragrance, so it does have a natural scent to it that I'd say it's got that prebiotic scent to it that almost smells a little bit like yogurt in a weird way. Um, if you've tried prebiotics before, you'll probably know what I mean by that. It's not unpleasant at all and it does dissipate really quickly, but honestly, this just feels so, so good on the skin. It's guaranteed like smoothness. It kind of smooths everything of it almost like it's like a primer boosts the skin's health will help with the skin's barrier function and kind of guarantees a good skin day at the same time whilst this is on the smaller side and i think i'm on bottle like number three of this definitely one that i'll be purchasing time and time again for the hydration and just the general skin health absolutely love it. Now let's come on to this product which is the Royal Honey Propolis Enrich Essence by Skin Food. I've tried a lot of skin food products. They've been a bit hit and miss. I think their sugar scrubs are way too abrasive on the skin but some of their other moisturizers actually been really nice. I tried this because James Welsh reviewed it on his channel and said how amazing it was. I was like okay well I've obviously got to try this and I did absolutely love it. Look how bougie and luxurious that looks. That is like high-end packaging all over. And also, beyond just the nice packaging, it does really, really deliver. This is the sort of product I do like to travel with because it's got a nice lock mechanism on it, so it won't spill all over your suitcase. So that's a big tick in the box. But it is also a really nice essence. Now, this is where I say sometimes the terminology gets a bit confusing because this is badged as an essence, but I'd say it's a very watery serum. It's got a really nice dropper and dispenser. And actually, I'm on probably bottle two two of this and I rinsed the old one out and put some of my other favourites in it. I like repurposing really good packaging. This is just super easy to use. It goes on like a gel and I keep this in the fridge for that ultimate cooling sensation. It's just an all round absolutely fantastic essence. Hydrate shoot, it's got a massive amount of propolis in here which is really nice to see. I think when brands badge an ingredient like as the standout, it's nice to see it in a super high concentration. This is 63% propolis extract which again just calms and soothes but hydrates and it's just a really nice addition to the skincare routine. With this one, I'd say a little does go a long way. I applied way too much there. And I think if you go overboard with it, it can leave a bit of a sticky film behind. So I'd say start with a small amount, spread it across the skin. You can always add more, but it's difficult to take away. So do bear that in mind with this product. And honestly, for the packaging, for the formulation, for the high concentration of propolis and the fact that it's just really fun and enjoyable to use, this is an absolute holy grail. Now, finally, I want to talk about an oldie but a goodie. You know, a lot of people, when they want hydration they like to just keep it super simple and so hyaluronic acid can be like the go-to ingredient for a lot of people. My skin is super sensitive to hyaluronic acid in high concentrations but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy a little bit in my skincare routine. I usually reach for this. This is the Isentreat Hyaluronic Acid Water Essence. They do a whole different hyaluronic acid range. They have like a toner, they have an extreme toner or an extra toner which has even more hyaluronic acid in it and they've got a couple of essences. I'd say of all of this collection this is my standout favourite. Not only it does Again, the packaging just looks so good. I think Korean skincare brands are really like upping their game when it comes to packaging. And this, I absolutely adore. But beyond just that, I find that this is really compatible with my skin. It's got different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid, which means it gives a meaningful level of hydration. But it's not in such a high concentration that it causes that dryness, that irritation that a lot of people experience with too much hyaluronic acid. Just a really, really nice product. It's quite simplistic in its formulation, but sometimes simple can deliver the very best results. It's again in that sort of gel like creamy serum texture that is badged as an essence and when you apply it to the skin it's just that instant bounce. If you're looking for something that will just boost the skin, hydrate you, plump everything out in an instant, you apply a couple of drops of this and it's a guaranteed good skin day. You can also keep this in the fridge as you can do with pretty much all of these products for that instant cooling in those warmer summer months. But if you just want to keep it really simple and reach for a high quality hyaluronic acid formulation, this Isn't Tree one is the one that I would definitely recommend.
end. So there you have it guys, a rundown of my favourite hydrating toners and essences. I would love to know if you've had any experience with these products, did you love them or were they fails for you? When it comes to skincare, always use what works for you, which is why I'd love to know any of your personal recommendations. Wherever you are in the world guys, stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care, bye!